Welcome to World 1-3. This is the cave of the Chomp Rock. First off, you may want to just get rid of these guys because they can pretty be, be pretty annoying, but they don't do you anything, so yeah. Oh yeah, if you're wondering why I'm like in a completely different environment from before, um, that is because I am filming at school. Yes, I'm not filming at home because I decided maybe it might be a bit more efficient if I filmed in school instead, I could get it out of the way in the morning and then uh, I can leave my night for my revision and studies because it makes my life that much easier um, I believe pounding one of those has a red coin if not this one, pounding this one has a red coin there we go there you got a red coin you can break these things and you will want to break these things in the near future you can either break them using ground pound, hitting from the below like regular brick blocks, or you could uh, just shoot eggs at them. Either way works well. These banana plant guys are pretty annoying, but you will meet them again in the near future, and you may need them for your advantage. First off, come down here. All right. Um, this does not take you to where you want to be, but it does get you a flower. So enter the valleys like this little um, downward openings if you can. Don't enter all of them, maybe some of them might be just bottomless pits and you may just fall to your doom in the process. Ouch! What is this? The chum rock supposed to help me try to kill me. Alright, you can use that to just um, instantly get all 5 stars, it really help you out. And here's your next flower. And then this way here is a key, where does this key lead us? Um, for now, let's ignore that and... Ouch! I did not want to go to checkpoint. That was not wise of me. Check... Pose... Found the pillars to... Just... Give yourself the most... Security that, you know, you've, ne you've not missed anything. Cause you never know if you're gonna miss something. Oh yeah, and these guys just eat them. It helps you out just... To take them before they develop into... Enemies which you can eat and turn into eggs. Uh, dang. Um, this is not good. Alright, so shoot the eggs to get the key. And my classmate has just switched on the fan, so if you're wondering if there are any noise, um, that's pretty much the reason as to why there's much more noise than before. Um, so, for me right now, I'm just gonna let them develop like that. And I'm gonna take the key and we're gonna go over to that room which we just um, missed out just now. And press up here. Don't bother wasting your eggs, it's just. Um, you just gotta use that. And then throwing balloons. Basically, um, I am a cheater. And this is what I do I usually just wait, I accumulate till the size of the balloon increases all the way so like if it's like 200% of Yoshi's size then I'm gonna release it and then I'm gonna throw it at, at the bandit it may not work all the time but if it does work all the time then good job for you well you don't have to worry about no nothing um, so one more ah you see I just died there um, so yeah the trick here is just wait until about my size and quickly tap the buttons as soon as possible that way your opponent will not have not enough time to react Damn it! Um, and my classmate over there, another classmate just laughed at me for like, he's like, what is this guy doing? He's just talking to himself onto a camera. But that's pretty normal reactions. Um, I really experienced this. Hey, hey, not nice. That was not nice of you. Weird piranha flying thingy. Urgh. You may want to use this rock to your advantage. Push it that way. And a pipe here. Um, this leads you nowhere. It just contains a couple of shy guys. When you get out, um, they're just gonna keep spawning until you fill your your egg meter, which I already did. Um, but doing that will cost a. Oh my gosh, these things are annoying. Um, it will cause the rock to go back there. So what you want to do? A. Hey, not nice. What in the world? This is 
not going my way. Um, this may give me some problems. I'm just gonna go back to the pipe and kill myself on the way out. I hope not. Oh my gosh. Stop annoying me. I actually thought you needed to use the rock to get up here, but I guess not. I didn't know that. There we get you your extra life, and that's not all the flowers just yet. We still have a couple more to go. I guess that's what I can infer because I did not get one up right off the bat. Come here, and before you begin anything, get rid of that and post the pound the posts over here. Make sure they're out of the way, and then come down this way. It's a secret egg entrance to a secret location. Now it's purely coins, so I, I'm, I, I highly doubt that there are any really like red coins or anything. But you want to use the seesaw to your advantage. And um, use that. Then you can jump out back up. You gotta keep a keen eye for these things because you never know when they're gonna uh, be really of, of much value to you. And I am missing something right now. Oh yeah, you can't step on those, so... Good luck trying to step on those if, you, if, you're, if you've got the guts to do so. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna wait for the trump to jump and then... Well, stop it before it goes back to where you just started on. Don't use too much force because you know you need this chomp block at a slant, at a gradient. Speaking of gradients, you know, we gotta find it in its school, we gotta do a gradient of a curve. And as far as I know, I'm pretty much struggling. Um, as you can see right now, I do not have the stars. Um, I don't know, I have 15 stars. Um, I'm gonna go try and get it, and then I'm gonna come back. Because I, tr I want to try to end this level with, you know, 100%. If not, then uh, chances are I'm going to come back to this level and get the stars. I may want to do this in future levels just because it's really, really hard to get um, all stars without using an item or two. So I'm going to try that. I hope I can do it. But... Please. Oh, good. This is going to be useful for me. I can keep using this technique. I can keep getting stars along the way. Alright, um, get it out of the way. I got all the coins, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm just backtracking right now. That's dumb. There's so many levels. We're gonna go back to where we were, we're gonna type and get back out, because I need more stars. I hope it works, because if it works, then it's gonna be good, good for my cause. See if this works, hoping it's gonna work. This work? Yeah, this works. Which means I can keep getting stars, and then I can easily get my 100%, so give, bear with me here for a while. We're gonna go back down, come back up. And wow, this video's about to hit 10 minutes long. And that is how long a Yoshi's Island a video could get. Especially if you're 100% if you're gonna get 100% the first time, it's gonna be really hard. So, um, you may want to try. It doesn't really help for me, because, ah, not good. It's not good. I gotta, I gotta get eggs. Hey! Okay, it's okay. It didn't take too many, so I can still recover. It's okay. Um, I'm gonna take one more egg. I'm gonna shoot the basket over there. Wherever that basket is. Now, apparently the basket is left, so, um, I'm gonna just come back down and then go back up. Yeah, you, you can clearly hear some dialogue going on around me because I am in the classroom, I'm not in, you know, my house where it's at the silence of my house. Like, I need a public place. Um, so, uh, eat, eat that. Just eat it. Oh, you can also push blocks. So, what I suggest, now that I'm on this topic, I just push it here, then you activate the stars. That way you can get your 30 stars. There we go. But do be careful of this guy here, it's pretty annoying. And clearly my classmates are making a big hullabaloo over there at the corner. Um, Actually... Alright, so here's the exit. And you're gonna probably be hearing a lot of this noise going on in the next parts in future because I'm gonna be... Uh, in future, I'm probably gonna be filming at school. Okay? So, make sure you have a bunch of eggs. It'll help you out for your cause. Really good. Get the Shy Guys another egg and then... There you go. That's your goal. And we're gonna move on to the Fortress of World 1. We're gonna go for a bonus challenge. 
So let's go over that before we before we end off. Um, yeah, 100 points. Each part, I think I'm gonna just do stick to one video a day because it's pretty hard to upload more than one video because each of them are like 10 minutes long or something like that. Scratch and match, get one ups. Well, let's see if how much we can get. I don't think I, I think I'm gonna get a bunch of toadies. Yeah, yeah, I just got toadie. Err, not good. Ooh, I got a Mario. That is that is useful for me. All right, one up. That's that's that's, satisfi that's satisfactory. All right, one up. All right, so thank you for watching this level, uh, World One Three. And subscribe for more videos to come. Next time I'm gonna get them to say hi in the camera or something like that.